I want to cover something that's it's not in the book. It's not in your manuals. Um, it's not in the Short Sale Success Blueprint book either that all of you have. Um, this is the concept of realtor referral marketing and center of influence marketing really is a marketing idea unto itself. It's a concept, it's an idea that you can make a tremendous amount of money with unto itself. So we wanted to teach in the blueprint, we wanted to teach all the foundational ideas of short sales, the way we do it. And I think the book, the black book that some of you have, we, I just unloaded and basically put all of our you know, information in there. I didn't really hold anything back. So hopefully you guys got a lot out of that. But the one thing we didn't put in there was this concept of realtor referral and center of influence marketing because it is more advanced and because uh, realtors have their own governing body, the NAR, and they have some of their own rules and regulations. We teach that only in groups like this, okay? So we don't really teach a lot of that to, uh, to our subscribers and on the internet because there's just a lot more objections that come up. But we have a couple different ways that we market. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about Ambrose Properties. Derek is responsible in our business for lead acquisition. And I would, uh, to give all of you guys a piece of advice, if you're going to do a lot of deals and you're going to be in real estate full time and you're going to do this to make, you know, make your living and really make a, a lot of money doing it, you need to have one person that's responsible for all your acquisition. It's really a craft unto itself. So what I'm saying is, is I wouldn't have somebody who's doing lead acquisition or deal acquisition and loss mitigation or, you know, somebody who's responsible for acquisition and selling your properties or closing your deals. To have a machine, a real estate investing machine that constantly brings in new properties, new op opportunities, new deals, you need to have one person who's responsible for the front end, Okay. If you're going to be, uh, just work for yourself or you're going to be a one-man band or one-woman band or maybe a small business, you need to focus on marketing, okay? If you're not going to hire an acquisitions person, you need to focus on marketing. So what does marketing do? I mean, what, what does it entail? Well, there's lots of different ways to market. There's online marketing uh, on the internet. There's ways to generate leads through landing pages and squeeze pages and video and driving traffic to your internet websites. Um, and Greg is going to be talking about that on Tuesday. And we have a super special guest for all of you guys on Tuesday afternoon, um, which I'll talk about that in a little, a little bit. So there's online marketing. Then offline marketing, to me, is, okay, the first step is to get the list, right? If you're not working on referrals, you have to get the list that you're going to be marketing to. So whether it's the pre-foreclosure list, the notice of default list, 60, 90 day late list, uh, expired listings, probates, there's the list, right? You have to obtain the list. 